Most high schools have end of the year traditions specifically for the seniors, and Ellington High School is no different. One of the most popular being senior assassination. Um, well, basically there's one person who runs it and he kind of like sets up who's going after who. And then it starts on one official day and everyone starts going for their person that they were assigned. If you get that person, then your next assignment is the one that they had. So it just, it's basically like a circle and everyone goes around until there's two people left. Despite the negative connotations that come with the term assassination, the school has imposed rules to keep its students safe, such as no weapons except water guns are allowed to be used, students may not attack their target in school, and students cannot attack their target at their place of work. Kelly Gorman has already killed her first person while remaining on her guard against her own assassin. So the first day I uh, left school, I noticed that my person was following me, so I figured out that they had me. I was able to like look out for that person, but um, I kind of started parking in the garage, took my dad's spot in the garage, and um, I've started trying to lay low and like look around my surroundings a little more. <laughs> Students participating usually end up playing into the summer if they have not been killed. When one player is left, they are declared the winner. The entire game is documented through social media as the players post proof of their kills. Even those who were defeated still think it was all worth it. But I think it's a good way to get people involved because everybody wants to win the money at the end.